All right, what is up everyone? It's Sam from 64 Wheels back with more diecast. Today we have the brand new for 2022 Action Drivers Bus Station. So these Action Driver sets are some of my favorite play sets. They are such good quality. They all connect. Matchbox is doing a fantastic job with these. And this is super affordable. This was $8.99 at a local Meyer store. Um, if you don't have Meyer stores around you, these will also be available at Walmart, Target, all the regular retail places, but that's just where I found it first. So um, this is a really cool, it's the same size as the Pizza Hut set that came out last year. And I also picked up one of those. So if you're looking for that Pizza Hut set that I promoted earlier back in like November, December, that is no longer a Pizza Hut exclusive and you can buy it um, at regular retail locations. Like I found it at Meijer along with this set. So good news is if you're looking for that, don't pay EBA prices. They're gonna be available retail and they're gonna be flooding the market. So hold off on them. So this is really cool. Um, this set comes with a little play base, the bus station, the city transit bus uh, right here in a nice green and yellow and white livery. Um, this connects to all the other play sets. So this one, um, I believe just came out. It's the little construction crane. Uh, I got this at Target. It's on the way, should have it this week. Um, in a couple days and I'll do a video on that one. And this one, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a dealership and that's coming out soon too to go with the rest of these. So here's the back of the box, just to show you the few things with it. So this playset has three major like play factors to it. The first one is one of the matchbox like pressure switches where you press down and then the guy swings out much like the Pizza Hut um, pizza delivery person that pops out. Um, it has a little gas pump or could be a charging pump depending if this is a gas or electric bus, I don't know. It's set up like a diesel bus with the engine in the back though. And then there is a, like a little gate here that swings back and forth. So um, these are, I, I can't say enough good things about these play sets. So go ahead and bust it open. Whoop. All right. So as always, got the little instruction booklet with the stickers, which they have been taping like this to the instructions so they don't get folded up, which I think is kind of nice. Um, ever since they started doing that, I haven't had a lot of problems with like bent or folded over um, stickers. So that's that's nice that they're doing it. So let's see. So this looks like a little bus stop overhang. Have some road pieces. Again, this is a Mattel branded product. So this actually hooks to all the Hot Wheels and Matchbox sets, which is even cooler. So there's double the play factor for the bases, which I love. Um, another piece of the street. This looks like the main part of the base here. Oh, it's got a little, let's see. Oh, that's a little person. Whoop. We're gonna go back and forth. There's a little green ramp, a little matchbox. That looks like the bus station like uh, ticket counter. They have really realistic graphics, which I like. Matchbox has always had such good play sets and graphics. Like I have their car, I think it's a car dealership or a truck stop um, back from the late 80s or early 90s. And I really like the graphics on those. So this is the second level um, with parking right there. And then the bus I will cut out um, after I get it all put together. So. It's fairly simple. So let's open this little box. This is like a little accessory set or probably like signs or something. All right. Okay. So it has a little yellow piece that probably just a sign. Um, this looks like a little girder. Um, let's see what else. That's That looks like the little gate. Ooh. And then we have, oh, and it does, check this out. So it actually says EV on it. So the bus, even though it is clearly set up like a diesel bus with, I don't know if you can see that, but when we open it, it has like grids back there for like the engine heat and exhaust. Um, it, it's actually an EV pump or charging station. So Matchbox going to the future with the EV stuff. Oh, my bad. Okay, so let me um, bus open the directions. These are easy, this is just a one-two sheet. So let me um, put all the stickers on and then I'll be back in a second. Okay, I just got done putting the decals on everything. The good news is that Matchbox puts the really difficult ones on for you. So I didn't have to put this one on, which is a tough one because it's so long. Usually you get those messed up. So that was nice, I did put that one on. 
Um, they also put this little one on here, the like the bus station number. You get to put this one on, which is cool because this is like the bus stop overhang where people stand and wait for the bus. And it's actually an action driver's Hot Wheel. Oh, there's a little hair. Um, advertisement. So that's cool that they're like advertising their own product. Well, it's like productception. It's pretty cool. So I like that. Um, this, the little ticket window got like a bus fare sign, which I think really pulls this together. Very nice. Um, and then the other two were these like little ones, not difficult. This one actually wraps around a little. So that was like the hardest one, even though it wasn't hard at all. And then the little EV had one too. And there's some other like lines and stuff. So let's go ahead and put this sucker together. Shouldn't be bad at all. Um, there's only six assembly steps. So the first one is almost always the same and it's attaching the um like the road to the base and there they have the like the little notches that fit in there so they're pretty self-explanatory very easy to put together and if you want to they're usually easy to take apart too but since these don't take up much room um usually you wouldn't have to take it apart so well, let me put that second piece right here just like that and there you go that's the play base so you can see it's probably uh eight or nine inches it's square, so it's not, it's not too bad, it's pretty big. So, okay, and then the next step is to put all the little accessories in. So the little tower, which is this one, I think it goes, let's see, it goes like this. Six and just right there, snaps in. Um, this snaps in right here, just like that. And then this, the little gate, snaps in right here. So there you go, there's a bulk of it. There's all the little pieces. Make sure I have that snap down, okay. And then next, we have the little bus station, bus stop. That snaps in right there, and then you can see the little guy movement. And then you have the actuals, like the, whoop, right there. And then this little guy, finally, oh, goes right in here. So you can see it. it snaps in, so there you go. That's what the base looks like, pretty simple. And then the ramps and such go around it. So the actual bus station part, the lid, roof, snaps into all three of these things. So you just kind of line it up here, snap it in, snap this one on, make sure that's pressed in, pressed in right there, and there you go. Looks good, there you can see it snapped in the top too. So, and then for the ramp, just put it right there, right there, boom, and assembled. So that was probably, honestly, the easiest one out of all of them that I've assembled so far. Even the gas station, that was probably the easiest. So, but it looks cool. Like, I like the depth. You got room underneath. Ooh, you got the little bus driver or the bus passenger. So, let's see. Oh, let me, let me cut the bus out real quick. Forgot to cut the bus out. That was the... One of the most important parts. Okay, so for the actions, you can drive up right here, and then when you press down on this little button, basically he moves over like that. I know that's not super like fun, but just like that, and then it moves over and like goes to the pass and you know, like actually gets in the bus. Make sure I do that right. So that's the movement in this one. Again, it's not super crazy, but it's cool because it does something. Um, and not even, not even Hot Wheels sets actually have a mo, like a movement like that. So back here is where like the bus stays to get, um, recharged because it is an EV. So they just show like in the, on the, like the box art, it kind of just going like this and getting charged up. So there's nothing that actually like inserts the fuel line or the charging line into the bus. And then you can swing the gate out and drive away through it. So that's kind of nice. And then there's also like technically like a bus parking if you had two to actually pull into the station and then the ramp whoop, just drive up and there's a parking spot right there and then there's a handicap spot right there so that's pretty much it it's pretty simple um it's nothing crazy but then let me grab the pizza hut set and then the little off-road set and we'll connect them and see what we have so far with 2022 sets Okay, so if you're collecting all of the 2022 Action Drivers playsets, here they all are so far. So this is the Canyon Adventure playset I covered last week. A lot of cool details. It's got the dropping rock wall, the cool like 
um, like, I don't know what you call it, my rope bridge with the alligator, love it. It's got lights and sounds, which is cool. And then the base obviously attaches to the rest here. So we have the bus station attached to the Pizza Hut here. Oh, let me move that. Um, you can connect these almost any way you want. I like connecting road to road though, so you can actually like drive around because you could turn it this way and then the road might not match up. So you can build these how you want, but I decided to do it like this so all the roads connect and then you have some even like some area over here. But this is what they look like so far. So in this is a huge set as you can see. Like here is a, one Hot Wheel, like this is huge so far. So this is two feet probably, um, two feet by maybe like a foot and a half. So this is a ton of play space for, this was right around $20 and then both of these were $8.99. So for what, you know, less than $40, you have over a foot of play space that can be moved, you know, you can arrange it 10 different ways if you want to, or you can actually put this over here, you know, you can have a whole city. So these are very fairly priced. They look great, they have movable parts, they connect. All of these are awesome. I love playing with these. I will have to get my 2021 sets out of storage at the end of this year, and then I'll put them all together and we'll make a giant 21, 22 um, action drivers play set and see what we could come up with. Um, so I'm going to add to this in a couple of days, look for that one, the construction site will be added, and then we'll uh, check out and see how big the set is after that, probably looking at almost a yard of play set after that set is added. So this has been the Matchbox Action Drivers Bus Station. Um, let me know what you think of this set in the comments or if you've collected any of the Action Driver stuff because they are really, really great play sets for the money. Really good play factor. I, I love them all. So let me know what you think. Um, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Family Group. Uh, I'm trying to think, Live and Let Diecast. Now they have a Discord. Um, there's all kinds of Diecast stuff going on. So... Stay tuned because I'll have more playsets and more diecasts coming up. So, phew, thanks, guys.